Hello there guys, it's Wolston, and uh, it's been a while since I made a video, even though I said I was going to make some, uh, I just had a lot of trouble going on, like I said before. Um, what I am going to do for you guys is, I did say that I would make a second video for my Mountain Blade retexture um, tutorial, and that it would be about BRF and open BRF and how to use it, and how to take the legla skins and put it into Napoleonic Wars. I could never find a good video for this when I started doing it. And I did need the help of a friend uh, who really did get me into it. And I was able to do it pretty quickly after he taught me. But it, it actually was pretty hard at first. Um, hopefully this will uh, help you out. And if it does, please like and subscribe to this video. I don't subscribe to this video, but I'm a fucking retard. So let's just go with that. All, you're gonna, all you are really going to need is open BRF. Uh, so just get that open. Um... You need two windows of this, so you need to open twice. Uh, this is because you're going to have one with uh, whatever you're taking it from and one whatever you're putting it in. So, let's say... I'm just going to show you how to get to it first. So, you go to... If you're on Windows 7, you go... Um, Win 7. Program Files times 86. And Steam. Where is it? Sorry. There you go, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, um, Mountain Blade, Warband, then Resources, oh, sorry, not Resources yet, um, you go to Modules first if you're getting it from one of those, then, uh, in this case, I'm doing it from Legla, so we're going to go Legla, and that, unless you got it from uh, the internet and not Steam Workshop, this will uh, not be there. So if you got it on the internet, it will be here. Steam Workshop, it won't. If you have it on Steam Workshop, you need to, instead of going to common here, you got to go to workshop and then um, content uh, 48700. And I believe that Legla's name is, huh, I can't actually remember. Uh, what it was, it was one of these that start with four. Um, you're going to have to find out, but this has nothing in it. Um, I'm not too sure. You're going to have to search that one up, but what you have to do is you cannot just take it from um, the, the workshop. You have to actually copy the file and put it into your modules folder and rename it so that it will work. Uh, it only works if it's coming from your modules folder. Um, it is kind of weird like that, not too sure why, but you're just going to have to do that. Uh, yeah. So then, uh, let's go to leg list. So once you put it in there, uh, you go to resource and you choose whatever you're going to take it from. Usually it's going to be either the weapons, hair, um, headwear or clothing. Let's just do headwear in this case and then you know what you're going to use. I'm going to take, um, let's say, uh, I, mean, I already have a lot of these, so I'm trying to find something I don't have yet. Um, I didn't do much of Prussia, so I'm going to look in there. Here we go. Uh, whoa, it really zoomed in. Version Corsier, uh, Fusilier. Let's just go with this. Um, so, first, just leave it on that, know what you have. Then, to get to your Napoleonic Wars folder, you basically do the same thing up to modules. Instead of that, Legly, you go to Napoleonic Wars. Also, resources, uh, depending on what country or nation, I mean, or faction. I can't fucking speak today, I swear to God. Um, you go into that one so if it's gonna be a hat and we're doing pressure we're doing pressure hat so we're gonna go on that uh, then you got to choose what you're gonna go over it with uh, if you I would recommend backing this up in case you screw up uh, just saying the to back it up um, you could either take the current ones you have and put it into another open BRF uh, that you make or you could just take the resource folder but uh, I would personally say you should just take the few so you don't have to if you did it with a lot of other things then it won't overwrite all of those as well um so with the fusilier let's just go with um let's choose i haven't really done much of pressure at all so i say let's choose 
Huh. Whatever this is. NCO. Oh, it's SNEO. I don't want to go over an NCO hat. Shaco. Let's just do the normal Shaco. Um, number two. So here's how it works. First of all, you're also going to have to open uh, the textures folder for these. And to get there, it's the same path, except in the end, you can go by... Um, I don't follow the path I'm taking right now because that probably won't work. Um, instead of going to uh, resource, you just go to textures. So first, let's do the Polanic Wars, then go to textures, and basically leave that open, and then go into another one. Uh, documents. Okay, and then I don't probably be the path I just did. That was just because I go into this file a lot. Um, Hopefully this is the right thing. Yep, it is. So modules, blah, blah. textures. Um, so you're going to need this later, but right now we're just going to do this. So first thing you're going to do, um, you're going to want to move all of these, the ones you're taking from it. And it needs to be this, just this one right now. Control C, press right, uh, click on whatever you can do, like the top of it, and do that. As you can see, there is no textures for it right now. This is because you have to move all the materials, the texture folders, like from the actual folder, and shading, and a couple of other things that you're going to see that's in this um, Legla folder, or the Legla BRF. So, click here. Uh, first thing you're going to need is you need to look at the Diffuse A, Diffuse B, this in case it doesn't have, or um, Bump, and Specular. Whatever it says, like, there's going to be a folder called N, S, and, f and uh, one that doesn't have anything. The N and the S you're going to need, and you need all three of these. And you're going to need them from the uh, actual textures folder, and you need them from this uh, materials BRF here. So first, you're going to find it here, and you're going to move Control c Control v move it over there, and then you got to go find Fusilier N. So let's go find this. Uh, sorry. There we go. So then you control C, control V, and then you go here, and then you hit control C, control V. You just copy and paste it in there, and you should have everything basically. Uh, but as you can also see, it is not. Um, it does not have a texture, or it does not show a texture. That's because you haven't moved it from the actual textures folder yet. Um, uh, wait a second, I was checking something here. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah. So just make sure you have all three of them together. I don't know why that's like that. That's really weird. Anyways, so next thing you want to do is, uh, not take those yet. Go to shader, and then just whatever shader it's on, control C, paste that in here. And you're going to need that or else everything is going to be white. Uh, it was really weird and took me a while to figure out how that worked out. And it really screwed me over for a long time. But, yeah. Um, so now you have all those in there. Now you're going to want to take all of these. So you got to find what they're called. So it's whatever it's called, the textures you just move over. So it's Prussian, Shaco, Fusilier, S, N, and just nothing. So just type that in. Hmm, Uh Make sure you don't take degraded ones. Uh, those are really small and they look really weird and it's nothing you want to use and make sure you don't make that mistake. So just make sure you don't move them either or else you won't have them in your Leigla. Um, so just click, then copy and paste them into your uh, Prussian or your Napoleonic Wars folder. Uh, once you've done that, you're pretty much uh, on the moving part, uh, then what you got to do is you go back to the ME folder in the Appointed War side, and as you can see, it is not showing that yet. Just make sure you refresh it, and it will show up with the texture. Uh, to see it all with all the textures, you have to select all of the files, and here's how it works. So in this case, you only had one um, one part of it, right? So usually, and if it's a different type of hat that has a lot of parts to it, like a bicorn, it will have more than one of these. And you have to make sure that you move all the materials, shading, and textures for that as well. 
So it would be not just these. You'd have a whole other set with it that goes with the hat and it comes together. And you have to make sure you take the materials from that as well. So that's if it doesn't show up in there, you have to do it. And you can tell if it isn't working, like if you forgot that, just by selecting it all and you won't see it. And if it's not there, then you need to make sure you put the materials in the right place and you need to take the textures uh, that you missed. So now, as you can see, we still have this though. So what you need to do is hit rename on this. Control C, just copy that and hit OK. Go over to what you just moved from Legla, rename it, and then hit Control V, and paste it into that. Now, you need to be careful when doing this. You need to make sure that the wherever there's a period or wherever there's a dot, you need to. Uh, that's where you don't uh, take everything out. So you take everything out that's a part of the name. So when there's a dot like dot lod one, you need to keep that part in every single one of them and basically just take out the name of it. Um, so you gotta be careful doing it. If you accidentally, you also gotta be careful that you don't make sure you have a letter there. So if you didn't take out the whole name, this is a very long process. If you're doing many things, if you just want to take out one small thing, then it's nothing, but it, it is very long and hard to do when you are doing like a whole reskin. And once you've done that, just basically delete the normal shako. Make sure you don't delete everything, but uh, like in the whole folder, or else you'll kind of be fucked. But yeah, you should have that in game now. And just you hit refresh, and it should be working. And that's about it, guys. Like it's not too hard for some of them. Just make sure if it is more than one. Like I'm just gonna show you an example. Um, let's back. Uh, Oh, wait, no, no, that's not fucking right. I'm sorry, guys. Um, here, so this is a really big hat. So see where every time it goes to musician, and then it's all goes down to log4, but then it goes musician.2. So this is still all a part of one hat. And the thing is, uh, these use different material and texture folders, or files. Uh, so this one has French Chaco Hussar, and then this one has Chaco Chords, and this one has Plume White. So... You need to take all of these, and you need to take all the textures and all the materials for each of those. Those That's the long part, and that's kind of the annoying part. Uh, if you want to save your time moving the textures, I'd say just take copy and paste all the textures from the Legla folder into your Mountain Blade folder. It won't overwrite anything, and it won't like screw up your game at all. It will just make sure that when you do this, you don't have to move all the textures manually from your folder. Um, yeah. But always make sure you have the shader too. I forget that sometimes and it just comes out white and it looks really freaking weird. So, uh, yeah, don't forget that um, as well. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to this video and uh, make sure that you comment too. And I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm going to fucking go do something else. And uh, sorry for this video being kind of shitty, but... Uh, it's what I had to do. A lot of people were on my back asking me to make this, and a lot of people want to see how it works since there really aren't many videos about it. And uh, I, I think I'm going to start making more videos now. Hopefully, it's coming close to another break in my school year, and um, I should be able to put out a couple Battlefield 1 and uh, maybe GTA 5 videos. Or if you want me to play a different game, uh, just hit me up with that. I got War of Rights recently, and it's honestly a great, great game. You can't kill anyone yet. That's coming up soon, but it's good conversation. I know you can do that in real life, but these people, they're just so nice. It's a good community so far. No trolls yet, but they're going to be soon, so you got to get on quick, right? And uh, it's currently $69 for the, uh, yes, actually 69 for the uh, alpha. And uh, the beta phase one is... Uh, it's not out yet, but I think it's around $30 American. Um, that is a bit of a stretch if uh, you don't have much money, but I, honestly, it is worth it. Just My computer can run it on uh, lower graphics, but it does. And I, my computer is pretty shitty, to be honest, so I say you guys can do it. Uh, again, like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of the other videos I made. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.